Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Coder. So this is the third part of this YouTube clone project and in this video, we are going to set up our React router and the Firebase. And if you have not watched the last two parts, especially the introduction part, please watch that to get an idea about the final product. And if you have not watched the second part, I mean the UI design part and you are directly coming at this third part, in that case, you will find the source code in the description box up to the second part and just clone that and then follow along. Okay, so first of all, install React Router DOM. In your terminal, I have already installed React Router DOM because last time this happened. Okay, so just download that and then continue. Okay, so first of all, I want to make a separate layout component and then I will put all these logics, all this layout logic inside that layout component. Basically, abstract the layout. So for that, inside this app, just create a component. So const layout, just make this a functional component and then return and inside this just place all this layout logic I mean all this layout component cut this paste this here uncomment this oops okay cool I need to also place the sidebar sidebar state and this handle sidebar function so just cut this out place this inside this layout okay and now I will remove this home screen and instead I will destructure the children from the layout component Oops. I mean whatever passed inside this layout, I'll just place this inside this container. Okay, so inside a curly brace, children, that's it. That's my layout component is ready. And now inside this app, let's set up the router. So for that, we need to import some of the components from React Router DOM. So just import browser router. Oh, first of all, just mention the package name, React Router DOM. Okay, import the browser router as router. So just rename this and then just import route that will catch all my routes and then switch. I'll be talking about this switch in a minute. Okay. And here just remove this login screen and all my routes would be wrapped with this router. So just place router inside this router. Let's catch the home route. So route inside this route, I need to pass a property. Basically the route I want to catch, which is the path and the path is my home and the component I want to render is the home screen, right? And that home screen should be wrapped with the layout. So inside the layout, layout component, inside the layout component, just pass the home screen. So home screen, home screen is already imported. That's it. Nice. And then the second route is my login screen, right? So again, put another route, route the path the path is the auth or something like that login whatever you want i'll put auth and here i'll render the login screen so login screen already imported and look at this i don't need to wrap this with a layout because i don't want to show the header or the sidebar here okay nice and now let's create another route for the search although the search screen is not yet created but let's create the route so just copy this route with the layout and inside the router the path is search okay i don't have any screen so just put a h1 tag like search me or search results save this let's see there should be some bugs and we are going to fix that in a minute okay so i am on the home route and it is showing home screen that is totally fine and let's try to go to auth so slash auth i should see some bugs go to auth Look at this, I am seeing the home screen, but it should show my auth screen, I mean the login screen. And now let's try to go to search, slash search, look at this. I am not seeing that I am the search result, so this is the search result or something like that. So this is happening because React checks our route from top to bottom with a partial matching expression. And what I mean by partial matching expression? So basically when you are searching for this slash auth, this slash, the first slash matches with this route path slash of the home screen. So that's why it renders the home screen with a partial match and same things happen for the search. So when you are going to the slash search, this slash does match with this home screen. So that's why it renders the home screen. And we can prevent this partial matching using another property which is exact. So by getting this exact property, React will disable the partial matching for this route. So now this route should be exactly matched with the path and then only it will render the home screen. Look at this, I'm on the search route and this is the search results. And now let's go to the auth. So slash auth. Look at this. I'm seeing the auth screen. I'm in the login screen. 
and then go to slash it will show my home screen that is cool and now the problem using react router is it checks from top to bottom but even when this path does match it checks further so now you can solve this i mean you can make this more efficient using the switch component so just wrap these routes using the switch component switch so switch is just a normal switch case but for the routes so whenever a path does match it does not check further it breaks the routes checking and just render the render that route so just import the switch yes i have already imported yes okay fine and it will be same okay now i'll create a route to catch all the invalid routes so if the user goes to an invalid route like something like gibris okay so here i am not showing anything so you have two options either show a 404 page or redirect the user to a valid route if he goes to an invalid route okay so in this case i am going to redirect the user to the home page okay so let's do that inside this router the last switch case should be our default case right so the concept is same as switch so basically i want to create a route here but without any path so if any of this route does not match it will fall into this route and in this route i want to rewrite the user so just import rewrite component it should be auto imported from react router dom yes look at this rewrite is auto imported and here i can pass a property which is 2 and just pass the route in this case i want to send my user to the home route so just save this let's go to the browser it should automatically redirect yes and again go to an invalid route some gibberish look at this i'm on the home page okay so our react router setup is complete and in the next section we are going to set up the firebase okay so to create a firebase project just go to firebase.google.com and then click on this go to console now click on this add project to create a project give it a project name youtube clone 3 for me and then here is the id so if you are going to host this project in firebase this will be your url so just use your customized url as we are going to host our website just give this youtube for me this is youtube clone 3 let's see now this is not available so after trying 30 times i got this not uit so this is my project id this is sort and then click on this continue just disable this google analytics we don't want that click on this create project and let it create click on continue okay so inside this firebase project i need to create an app so just click on this web as this is an web app and just give this app a name whatever you want like for me this is youtube set up the firebase hosting yes just check mark this as we are going to host this project and then click on this register app click on next 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 this is a documentation for firebase hosting and we are going to do this at the last part of this project then continue to console okay so my first app is created so if you just click on this apps icon you can see this youtube web app okay so you need to copy the configuration so just click on this project overview setting project settings and scroll to the bottom click on this config just copy this and by the way guys we will set up all this authentication part for this firebase in the upcoming videos we will go step by step so, so we need to set up this authentication part to sign in with google but we will do that later so just copy the config and inside the source folder create a file which is firebase.js firebase.js and just paste this configuration object and now to connect this react app with the firebase you need to install a package which is firebase so just install the package using npm install firebase and again i have already installed this cause last time this happened okay so just install the package and then follow along first of all import firebase from firebase app so import firebase from firebase from the app module so import firebase from firebase app and then using firebase initialize app so firebase dot the method is initialize app and just pass the configuration so firebase config that's it my app is connected with the firebase and now you might think that you need to put this 
API key or domain project ID and all internal environment variable but according to but according to Firebase if you just expose these values this will not harm your apps okay so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to set up our Redux store and again guys please hit the like button if you are enjoying this cause it gives me a lot of motivation to continue further and if you are new to this channel I make videos on web development and web designing so if it sounds interesting please consider subscribe my channel see you in the next video bye